Now your TV5 first alert forecast certified most accurate by weather rate. Good Tuesday evening in Michigan. Chief Meteorologist Chris Eastlick with your Tuesday forecast update. A live look at US 10 in Bay County tonight. Visibility a little bit lower, but can still see the highway. Just keep in mind that conditions could vary a little bit as we go through the rest of the night. As showers pass through, I think we'll be okay as far as visibility goes. As far as the fog is concerned, that is. But once that uh, shower activity starts to leave going into tomorrow morning, that's when things could drop once again. And we could be looking at some locally dense fog in spots early tomorrow. As for your radar tonight, Tonight, as of 630, we've got some showers to the north primarily a little bit more scattered as you go south. Also a little bit heavier on the west side of the state. Some of those may try to pass through the area as we go towards the latter portions of this evening. Don't think it's impossible that we hear a rumble of thunder with some of those as they move through. You can see, even see some of the showers that are passing through earlier tonight are definitely a little bit heavier than what we experienced earlier today. So just keep that in mind. Again, it becomes a little bit more isolated farther to the south, but things should pick back up there as the night goes along. We've got that warm front that's to our south not moving much and didn't make much progress for today. I think it could come slightly more north tomorrow, which could lead to some warmer temperatures off to the south towards the Flint area. But most areas won't see much of a warm up compared to today. Maybe a few degrees tomorrow. Hour by hour as we go through the rest of tonight, there's the showers that will occasionally pass through. Once we get into the overnight, besides a passing shower here and there, we should largely be on the quiet side. By 7 o'clock on Wednesday, I do expect most, if not all of us, to be dry. At the very least, we're winding down. And then we'll get a, a bit of a break as we go through the early portions of the day and then eventually more showers develop in the afternoon. Even though there's not much showing here and the model tries to keep most of it out over Lake Huron and into Ontario, I still think we'll see some showers around the area on Wednesday. So at least keep in mind that the chance is still there even though it's not really showing much here as temperatures get colder going into Wednesday night. I think we'll have a chance at a brief wintry mix and then some outright snow showers by the time we get to Thursday. As for your rain predictor, most areas will see less than a half an inch from this point forward through Thursday. Areas to the north could see slightly more than that with a half inch, maybe to as much as three quarters of an inch. Your low temperatures tonight, mid to upper 30s and some low 40s to the south. Those temperatures will set us up for a warmer day tomorrow, especially the farther south you go. Could get close to 50 or even reach it as you get closer to Flint, Owasso, and also Lapeer. Your seven day forecast temperatures will be in the mid 30s going into next week. Our best chance for sunshine comes on Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. Stay with WNEM TV5 on air, on the go, and online for more news and weather updates.